Welcome back guys, JDog here from Seacoast. Today we're going to be going through how we can add a permission system to our server so certain players can get certain commands. Meaning that they don't have to be OP'd and they don't need to have all the commands, they can only have the commands that you give them. So first things first, you're going to need yourself a Minecraft server. If you haven't got one yet, head on over to seacoast.co where you can grab a small, medium, large or any custom size server that you need. Once you've got it up and running, just make sure that it's running the latest version or whatever version you want. I'm going to be using Paper because Paper can use Spigot and Bucket plugins, and it's also much more optimised for multiplayer servers. So first of all, stop your server before you make any changes to it. Next up, we're going to be coming over to Luck Perms, and all the links will be in the description, or just search up Luck Perms on Google or Luck Perms plugin. Once you're on the main page over here, we're going to come over to download. I'm going to be downloading the bucket version, that's why I use paper, because you can use a variety of spigot or bucket plugins. It's going to download in the top right of your screen. Now it's time to upload the plugin, you can either use the FTP file access, depending on what size the file is, or for unlimited uploading or exporting, you can use FileZilla, a free resource that we recommend. Or of course you can go to the plugin list and search for the plugins that way. However, I'm going to be using FileZilla, so once I'm up and connected to my server, my server file is going to be on the right hand side, I'm just going to open up the plugins, as you can see, I have two plugins already installed and by using the folder selector over here we can find where I've uploaded it to so I've uploaded it to my desktop as we can see luck perms right over here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag and drop it into my plugins folder if you're using FTP file access simply upload it that way to your server once done you can just go ahead and start your server back up again and we can go in game and I can show you how you can actually add the permissions to each player so now with that uploaded to our server let's go ahead and give default players some permissions for when they join to do that simply do a forward slash do LP and then do editor Press enter and it's going to give you a link to go to a web page. Once you click this, it will then open up on your browser. First of all, it's going to ask you if you want to do an editor connection. You can do this or you don't have to if you don't want to. What you can do is you can just click this to copy. Come back to your Minecraft and type it in as it is. And now any changes will automatically be applied to your Minecraft game. But if not, we can always use the apply button later. So first of all, just for a quick explanation, we're going to be doing this to the groups. Your default is going to be the default groups of people. So anytime anybody comes into your server, they're going to be put onto the default group. You can, of course, create new groups like this. We won't really be going into creating new groups. We're just going to be doing the default group for now. And of course, you can do this for individual users over here. Again, I'm going to be clicking on default group. Now, the way to add permissions here is, for instance, in game, if I wanted to use the pay command for essential X, if I go down here and I start to type pay, you're going to see that a lot of the commands are already pre put in there. So if I click on that essentials pay, I can set the value. So whether it's going to be true, if it's going to be false, that means the player definitely can't use it. And you can also set an expiry as default is set to never. Or you can set it so it can only work for a couple of days. After that, you can also add context, whether it's going to be um, in a different world, for instance, whether in one game mode, um, they're allowed to use pay, another one they're not, or whether they're jailed or AFK or something like that. Let's say for an example, if you do choose for a certain world, you can then go ahead and choose world, world nether, world the end, or a different world if you're using multiverse portals. Either way, I don't need any of that. I simply just want my players to have the essentials pay command. So I'm going to go to add. So once that's done, all we need to do is just click apply and that will automatically do it to our game. Of course, if you didn't do the automatic link up at the start, you just have to then put another link in. As you can see, it's now changed that to true. Now you might be thinking, where do I find the permissions and stuff like that? Well, all plugins will either have a wiki or some sort of permissions page. For essentials, for instance, if we come down, you're going to see that we have all the permissions there and it's going to give you all the permission nodes. So for instance, if we want to use this command here to do a backup, we need to add this permission node over here. So if I copy that over, in fact, I just have to click it, it'll copy it. We come over to here, paste it in, press enter, and then go to add. If we then hit apply back on game, we're going to see that now all the default players are able to create a backup definitely not a command that you should be giving normal players. However, as you can see, it's got lots and lots of the commands in here. If they don't show up in here already, you're going to be able to find them online with the actual plugin itself. So one more example now, let's just do a sell. So they're able to sell on the server using the essential X. If you don't know how to set up a currency on a server, check out the video that's popping up right now of how to set up a currency. Now let's just press enter. So we've got essential sell. Once highlighted, go ahead to add and we've now got essential sell there. So again, just hit apply. If you didn't do the first thing with the browser where you link it, you just click apply or save and it will give you another link, which you then just go and type into your bar over here into the chat bar. But as you can see, that's already been automatically given to me. Now, once you've done uh, giving all the commands and permissions that you need on here, you can simply close this down, head back over to your Minecraft and let's just make sure that things work. So if I do a forward slash DOP, so I'm going to DOP myself, so I'm not a server operator. You can see that I don't have... Um, 
other stuff such as balance I can't use. However, if I go to use pay, you can see that I actually can use it still because I've been given the permissions for the command. Obviously we have backup as well, but we won't be going ahead and doing a backup. But as you can see as a default player now, I can be given specific commands using the permission nodes that you give them and it's super easy to edit. We've been able to type it in game, do it whilst your server's still on and have it applied to your server instantly. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And for more Minecraft tutorials, just make sure to check out our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.